I'm Jeff Tremaine, and this is 10 Rounds with Dan Marley Boxing. My favorite boxing stunt we ever did was uh, when Johnny Knoxville fought Butterbean in the department store boxing. Just because it was so ridiculous to walk in with Butterbean and, you know, just uh, Knoxville came to fight and uh, it wasn't a long fight. And, he didn't walk out of there on his own. So. <laughs> Getting the crew prepared for dangerous stunts, it depends what it is. I think a lot of times I just, like with Knoxville, I'll just, I know he likes to just go into a kind of quiet place. I leave him alone. You know, he knows what's coming and so I just kind of leave it up to him when he's ready to come out and do it. You know, I just make sure everything's ready so there's no waiting around. When he's going, we go, you know. Uh, that was kind of the most important thing to me was be prepared so when he's ready, we're ready. And it's just seamless. You know, you just walk out and do the goddamn thing. I don't remember exactly how we found Butterbean. I don't think that was on me. I think it was through the talent department or something. But we were trying to think of people to do the thing with and we instantly landed on Butterbean just because he's so awesome just to look at beyond just his power and his shape, you know, like he was just the right guy for the job. So, uh, how we got him, I don't know, I think we just reached out and said, Are you into this? And he's just like, Yeah, I can knock somebody out. <laughs> sure. So, and, and then he was so fun, you know, he was so fun to hang out with that we became friends after that. So, my fondest memories of boxing are probably, you know, um, I remember I was at home. And Knoxville called me, he's like, put on HBO right now. And it was uh, Gotti Ward One. And uh, I think I picked it up at around round two or three. And we just stayed on the phone watching this fight and just being like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> the greatest fight of all time. I'm sitting on the phone with Knoxville just watching the fight. Uh, that was probably my fondest memory of watching a fight, yeah. And then seeing Knoxville get his ass knocked out by Butterbean was pretty great too, if that counts. My favorite boxers, uh, well, Arturo Gotti and Mickey Ward would have to be right in there with my favorites. Um, I like Tyson Fury a lot. God damn, I don't know, I like watching Pacquiao fights a lot. Maidana, I remember liking, I watched the Broner Madonna, Maidana fight which was pretty awesome. Like, yeah, I don't know. But I'd, I'd say Gotti and Ward. I've had to pull Knoxville out of a few dangerous stunts, at least one that I remember. But I remember one time I failed and it was, uh, it was during, we were doing this thing called the Toro Totter where the guys were on this like seesaw, four, a four part seesaw with a bull coming in. And the bull just mauled the shit out of Knoxville. And uh, we got him out of there. And uh, I remember he came and sat to me in the stands. He's like, Dad, did we get that shot? I'm like, yes, we got this shot. He's like, I don't know. And, uh, and meanwhile, he's, he's talking to me. The bull's still running around that ring. And I'm like, no, no, we got the shot. I can, trust me, it, it's great. And then I got distracted. And then he ran. He didn't even make sure the cameras were still rolling. He just ran back out in the ring and jumped back up on the the Toro's daughter's seat. And that's when he got really drilled into it. Like, you could, he, that's where the biggest shots happened. And I'm like, holy shit, like, <laughs> roll cameras, guys. I'm like, we don't need to do this, but I had already failed. And once he was out there, there was just like, man, just make sure you're rolling on it, guys. <laughs> so uh, that's the time I failed to protect my fighter. But uh, yeah, there's been a few others, but that, that was one that I remember I really, I uh, shit the bet on doing my job. So. But the footage came out good, so maybe I did my job. I remember one time Spike invited me. Spike Jones invited me. To, he had tickets to this boxing match. It was at the Great Western Forum here in Los Angeles. And uh, I think it was an amateur night. It wasn't a big fight. But we had really good seats. And this was right when Ebola was like breaking out, like like the news of Ebola was scaring everybody. I remember we were just sitting there and 
watching these guys just pound each other. And all of a sudden, like, all the, the guy got lined up to us and all the sweat and blood just flew in. <laughs> and like right into my face. I'm like, holy shit, I'm gonna get Ebola. <laughs> like, fuck. So that was the only other time besides the uh, Larry Holmes Butterbean fight that I've been live in person seeing a boxing match was when I almost got Ebola, at least in my mind. So I don't remember who the fighters were. But I was sure I was gonna start just bleeding out of my eyes and dying. What song would I walk in the ring to? You know, when I was a kid, um, we used to skate this ramp and everyone was into punk rock, and me included, we all were. But the ramps were getting so crowded that we started playing Madonna at the ramp, Madonna songs, just to kind of thin the crowds out. Like, and uh, so I would probably do something that was a little more annoying to people than something cool, you know? I'd probably come out to, fuck, who knows? Something annoying. I don't know enough about fighters' lives. I know that Gotti, Arturo Gotti had a crazy life. Uh, I don't know much about it, but I, I would definitely watch a movie about him. I don't know if I'd be the guy to make it, but, uh, yeah, but no, 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 no one in particular that I can think of uh, beyond Gotti.